The forehand drive is one of the main attacking shots used in table tennis. It has a little bit of topspin on it, but mainly it's a flat hit. Very powerful. You'd normally play the forehand drive close to the table when your opponent's return is a little high. Although some players are really good at hitting drive shots off low balls too. If played with a lot of acceleration, the forehand drive will often be a winning shot which your opponent will not be able to return. So let's take a closer look at this shot. Here I am playing a forehand drive rally. Let's look at the stance. Notice how my legs are nice and wide, knees bent, bum out, crouching forward, with my left foot slightly further forward than the right foot. This gives me a very stable stance to move, hit and recover. Okay, let's look at the stroke action. As the ball comes over the net, I am rotating backwards from my waist and then accelerating forward. So rather than just using my arm to play the shot, I'm using my waist too, which means I can play a more powerful shot. My back is starting around waist height, moving forward and up and finishing in front of my body. So really, I'm lifting the ball over the net rather than hitting down on the ball. But crucially, my back angle is slightly closed, which means my playing side is facing towards the table. So even though I'm hitting up, the back angle helps me keep the ball lower over the net. I'm hitting the ball in the middle of my back, so it's quite a flat hit and it makes kind of a thwack sound. And look at when I hit the ball. I'm hitting the ball when it's at the top of the bounce. Because there's not much spin when we play a drive shot, we want to hit the ball at its highest point, which gives us the biggest margin to get the ball over the net. So, to recap, when playing the forehand drive, you need a low stance, rotate backwards from the waist, the bat moves forwards and up, with the bat angle slightly closed. You can hit the ball just in front of your body and finish the stroke in the middle. A mistake some players make when playing the forehand drive is their arm crossing their body. If your arm goes all the way over here, to play another forehand, your arm has to travel all the way back and this is going to slow you down. Because table tennis is such a fast game, we need to cut out any unnecessary movement. So ideally, your arm should finish in front of your body like this and not across your body like this. In this clip, my arm is going all the way across my body. This extra movement I'm putting into the stroke means I'm too slow recovering for the next stroke and I can't sustain the rally. Whereas in this clip, I'm finishing in front of my body. So my recovery is quicker and I can keep the rally going for much longer. So get into the habit of finishing the forehand drive in front of the body. When learning the forehand drive, focus on consistency first rather than trying to hit the ball really hard. Aim for 10 forehand drives without error to begin with, then build up to 25, 50, 100. When you can play this shot consistently, then you can start adding in a bit more power. And to get that extra power, play the shot in the same way. The same backswing, the same finishing point, but accelerate your arm forward quicker. And this will create more speed and more power. In this training drill, I'm playing two forehand drives cross court and two forehand drives down the line. It really helps to practice playing the forehand drive to different positions. I think too often players just practice cross court and they become very good at this, but they aren't anywhere near as good playing down the line. So make sure you practice playing the forehand drive down the line too. When switching from cross court to down the line, you are gonna to have to adjust your body position. Notice how I'm rotating my waist a little bit more 
for the shots down the line. This gives me a better angle to hit the ball straight down the line. And notice how my bat is finishing in the direction I want the ball to go. You can do this drill in different ways. You could do three cross court, three down the line, or you could do one cross court, one down the line, or you could mix up the numbers. So you could do one cross court, two down the line, or three cross court, one down the line. There's lots you can do with this drill. In this training drill, I'm playing one forehand drive from the forehand side and one forehand drive from the middle. This is a great exercise to help you improve your footwork when playing the forehand drive. A lot of players struggle to play good forehand strokes from the middle because they don't move. So this exercise will help you practice this movement. The key is to really make sure you move enough. Notice the position of my left leg when I'm playing a forehand drive from the middle. It's actually outside the width of the table. I've moved that far to make space to play a strong forehand drive from the middle. Anything less and I'm going to be playing the shot too close to my body and the shot's going to be weaker. When you get good at this you can try doing the drill faster or try playing forehand drives from three positions. The forehand side, the middle and the backhand side. In this training drill we're playing forehand drive to forehand drive but to any position on the forehand side of the table. This drill is more difficult because you don't know where the ball is going but it's a great way to improve your reactions, your footwork and your ball placement. The key here is to keep an eye on your opponent's bat. This will give you the clue as to where the ball is going and you can react quickly. If you wait until the ball is already over the net you're going to struggle to react in time. And make sure you're on the balls of your feet as you're going to have to be ready to move for every shot. To begin with, just play on half a table. To make it harder, play on two thirds of the table. And don't worry about playing with too much power, just try to beat your opponent by keeping them moving and placing the ball out of their reach. 